Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from the week of September 8th through the 14th. I hope that the week turns out well for you. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. The cards have been pulled for you already because I have 12 of these to do. So it's the sake of time. I did shuffle and pray over the cards. So let's see. I hope that it resonates with you. So, how cancer is coming into the week. Wow, nice justice. Bringing that gavel down, you know. This is a cancer saying, what can I do? Or what should I do? Or this is the universe bringing in that, that karmic justice for cancer. Cancer has been wanting something to, to return or be restored to, to equality, to fairness. The Cancer could be dealing with a Libra. The head and the heart both aligned in decision making. Uh, it could be in regards to separation, divorce, a repayment of debt, uh, getting good advice. The Cancer is coming into the week balance because yeah the justice card talks about balance you could be dealing with something in regards to the justice system you could be trying to find your balance you could have had a tough week weekend or a fun weekend what's in the environment for the cancer Ooh, is the nine of swords okay so this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't know, Capricorn is coming up for me. I don't know why. We have Libra here. Uh, so this is what is in your environment could be possibly be anxiety over an ending, over being right at the brink of anxiety about putting that final sword in the coffin closing it and being done with it do i reduce the energy to the eight of swords where i am feeling stuck i'm feeling trapped i'm just in my mind about it i'm mulling it over or do i go ahead and go all the way the ten of swords and allow a, a complete ending to a situation where I am on the edge, I'm on the brink. And being on that brink brings me a lot of anxiety, a lot of mental anguish, a lot of what do I do, what should I do, uh, you know, um, stress. What's helping or who's helping the cancer is the star card, <laughs> the Aquarius. Uh, what is helping the cancer is feeling like they're on the right path. They're on looking to the stars, looking up, looking at what can be, uh, looking at uh, a healing, a healing path, a healing connection, looking at um, Restoration and and uh, rejuvenation also. Feeling like something has come in and restored here. Getting good advice. Being on that spiritual path and knowing that, okay, this is good for me and this is right. This is right where I need to be. Being able to level with, being able to converse on different aspect, different level, being able to level. This could be a physical person helping you or this could be just your mentality. And how you come in, how you end the week is the four swords, beautiful. I think this person gives you, because this talks about good advice also, this talks about good advice being on the right path feeling like you you are right where you need to be feeling like things are synchronized uh 
the four of swords allows you at the end of the week to come to a place of healing healing your mental because your mental is all jacked up in the environment right the four of swords may even help you come to some separation with or in you fill in the blank the four of swords says that recuperation uh rejuvenation a real mole over your foundation what is foundational what you have created for yourself thus far needs to be taken into account and then you need to make change which would be the five of swords which would you know be maybe it's it's not a win-win i don't know or it could be a, you could reduce it to the three of swords where you're divided and you are dividing you could be divorcing and or separating or you could you can bypass both of that and go to the six of swords and just make peace with but right now the cancer needs to get in a place of where they can even do the mental exercise of they need to heal from the nine of swords wow then the six of swords at the bottom of the deck the cancer needs to get to a place of making a choice to make peace with moving forward to getting to a better uh, mentality um, to getting to peace and tranquility you may be moving or planning a retreat you may be planning to end something you've thought it over and you've made peace with it six and four is ten you see nine ten so you may be at a place of saying you know um i thought it over i know what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and put the the nail in the coffin because i need to be on a better path i am on a, a better path this is all i'm here this is all happening for a reason oh these popped up jeez and they won't even let me be <laughs> nine of swords again guys about the knight of pentacles maybe you are contemplating giving or accepting an offer an offer that has been a long time coming i'm hearing that for some of you you thought that this would never come you thought that you would never meet you thought that you would never be on this path you thought that you couldn't find your equal you thought that you think that this person won't take two uh there's so much here a lot of anxiety because in giving this offer you also have to end something three of pentacle you want to offer stability to a new partnership you're concerned about how you look to friends to family there may even be some early learned childhood situation here for some of you you may be trying to shake that 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 learning that way of being you want to make sure that you come across and you communicate clearly with someone about what you want with them and what you have to offer yeah Maybe with someone who yields the sword. Someone who is very clear, who is very frank, who is very honest in their communication. Someone who has a lot of life experience. Someone who is like royalty to you. They wear the, the, the color of royalty. This is purple. This is the cloth. Someone who you feel like you, you are or could be in love with. Or that you want to start new friendship, new love with. Give me one more for Cancer. Ten of Swords. Ten of 
You're happy. Oh, wow. Yeah. In order to have new beginning with maybe someone and offer your cup, you understand that you have to end something firstly and then have a victorious new beginning. The cards are asking you to act in judgment to know that, okay, the past, how you've been dealing with situations, people, relationships, relationships inside of relationships, that's the past. You're now living in the present. You've met something or someone different. You're on some new path. You need to make peace with the past and change some aspect of your lifestyle. This is a lifestyle change. The, the horn is being blown for you, asking that you come to some type of real judgment about yourself and get clear with yourself. Uh, Cancer, I hope that the reading resonated with you for you. I hope that you found a bit of clarity in it. Uh, let me pull an angel answers for you. We're in 11 minutes. Jeez. Cancer, your message is very clear. A year from now, while you have a timeline, you do have a timeline. Let's see what this is about. A year from now, your life may look different. I think you've been getting this card in the last few readings, Cancer. program I think you need to exert some energy this will help you uh, family changes at the bottom of the deck divorce separation uh, engagement moving in together uh, speaking to children about whatever I don't know just a, a home move family changes constitutes almost everything buying a new refrigerator buying a new car I mean it could just it's a catch-all if you have a family, then there could be some changes being made. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me just pull the book out, right? Because it, it really is a catch all. Um, if I could get to the paper. Okay. There, yeah, there's a shift. In the family in an announcement like I said talking to somebody or children involved and every you talk to everyone involved and you need to keep steady uh, know that your prayers have been answered about the path that you're choosing the star card the path you're choosing um, if you need to take action God will clearly guide you change can seem threatening in the long run but it works out for everyone okay this change will bring you closer together and bond you in new ways with whomever. So there could be a pregnancy, birth, adoption, a change in a living situation, divorce or separation, life transition, marriage, health concerns. So there we are. Um, it's pretty much a catch all. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Go over to the website, book your own reading if you feel like it resonated. Um, Use coupon code 10 off 35 gets you $10 off any reading $35 or more. Thank you, Cancer. Take care. Stay in prayer. Bye.